Hi booktube, Lynette here and in today's video I am going to do the end of the year book tag. This tag is all about the books that you plan to read before the end of the year and I thought mid-November would be a great time to do this for you. So the first question is are there any books that you've started this year that you need to finish before midnight on New Year's Eve? And I have two that I would like to try and finish before the end of the year. The first of those is A Clash of Kings by George R. R. Martin and this is the second book in the Game of Thrones series. I started it back in March when I travelled up to Yorkshire and I've been listening to it as an audiobook. I managed to get uh, just over 10 hours of the way through it um, back in March but I haven't actually picked it up since I've been choosing to listen to other things instead. Uh, but as I walk to work and back um, and I have about 15 minutes uninterrupted walking time I, I could get through at least another half hour of this book every single day I just need to make more of an effort to do it um, and then hopefully uh, coming up to the end of the year I won't have that much left to be listening to. The second book that I want to try and finish by the end of the year and if you've watched any of my previous videos you can probably guess what this is but that is The Shadow Rising by Robert Jordan. This is book four in his Wheel of Time series. I can't really tell you very much about it because once you start getting this far into the series you start to um, have spoilers but we're still following the main characters um, Rand and Perrin and Matt and Egwene and Elaine and Inave, um, as they are battling to save the world as they know it. There's lots of revelations in this one um, to do with the history of the world um, and how the breaking of the world came about. So there are some spoilers in here um, if I were to talk about it in more detail. But I'm quite a chunk of the way through it. I've literally got about a quarter of it left. Um, and I think I've said in a previous video, all I need is just some quiet time to sit down where I can just focus on this book and not be distracted by anything else at all. So I'm hoping that at some point I can get ahead um, with all my projects and I can actually sit down and give this book the time that it actually needs. Question number two is, do you have an autumnal book to transition to the end of the year? And if you watch the Cozy Autumn tag, then you know that I'm probably not really a seasonal reader. I don't pick books because of, they have a specific look to them or a specific feel to them. So I don't really have an answer for this one at all. Um, I have recently started The Hobbit, um, which the cover always makes me think of autumn. So technically I could put that one in here. Um, but other than that, no, I don't really read books because of the time of year it is. Um, I occasionally will pick up a Christmas romance around about Christmas time, but I'm not really into to seasonal reading. Question number three is, is there a new release that you are still waiting for? And yes, there is. Um, one of my favourite romance authors, Kay Bromberg, she has a new release coming up very, very soon. I think it's towards the end of this month. And that is Hard to Hold. Uh, this is a sports romance book. It's the second book in a series of four, I think it's going to be, following four sisters who are running a sports agent agency. Um, that doesn't sound quite right, but that's that's basically the premise. They they represent uh, sports stars in America. And it's how they are um, finding love with particular sports stars on the way. Uh, the first book in the series, Hard to Handle, was a hockey romance. I think that book two is a football romance. I'm not 100% certain. Um, but that's due out very, very soon. And as soon as Kay Bromberg releases a book, I have to read it. I have to say this year she's blown me away with her writing. Um, I think just about every release she's put out this year in some way has had some kind of reflection on things that are happening in my life. Um, or have had some wise words that I needed to hear at certain times um, during this year. And they the books have just been there and done that for me. And I know that a lot of people, a lot of her readers... Um, find this as well uh, she has some great mottos that she puts into her books um, 
which are great life mottos sometimes to follow. So I'm really looking forward to picking up this one because I'm sure it's not going to be any exception to the rule and it's just going to be just as fantastic as everything else she puts out. Question number four is what are three books that you want to pick up and read before the end of the year? And I've got three books here. Um, these were quite easy picks for me. And the first one of those is Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens. Um, this book came out um, earlier this year, I think. But in March, in particular in March, I was hearing a lot about this book and it really, really intrigued me. And I really wanted to know what it was about. Um, I spent some time with some other people who are avid readers and they had all read it and they were all recommending it. So I really wanted to give it a go myself. This book is set on the North Carolina coast um, in the late 60s and it's uh, following the fortunes of a girl who is an outcast in this small town really. Um, she has been blamed for a murder that has happened and she's not really to blame from what I can understand um, but then it's also about how when two young men come to town two new young men come to town who both fall in love with her um, it's about what happens and the fallout from that really looking forward to picking this up I'm hoping to pick this up this month not sure it's going to happen but I definitely want to read it before the end of the year and the second book that I want to pick up and try and get through before the end of the year is another series continuation and that is Dragon Haven by Robin Hobb this is book two in her Rainwild Chronicles series and book eight in her Realm of the Elderlings overall series. This is following the fortunes of the young dragons that were hatched at the beginning of the first book in this series, which is Jag Dragon Keeper. And they are now traveling up the Rainwald River to try and find um, a fabled city, which was an ancient home of dragons and elderlings. And to really go into it more than that would give it away. Um, you really do need to pick up the books. I love Robin Hobb's writing. This is the last book in the series that I got to when I was originally reading them. So I'm looking forward to getting through to this one um, and picking it up because I really want to get on and finish the series and find out what happens to these dragons because they have an overall link in the rest of the series from what I understand from the final set of books. And the third book that I want to pick up and start and finish before the end of the year which should be quite easy with the size of this one um this one was one that wasn't really on my radar it's it's one i've been wanting to read um but haven't really gotten to um and it wasn't until yesterday i was actually reminded yesterday uh because of something someone else said to me that i was in the middle of a reread of this series and that i really needed to pick this one up so this book is the voyage of the dawn treader which is the fifth book in the Narnia Chronicles of Narnia series it's my favorite of the series um it's the one that sparked the most imagination in me as a seven eight year old when I first read these and I really want to get back to reading it um it's the first time I read about dragons as well um when I read this one as a child so I really want to get on and read it um it's kind of nagging at me now because I've been reminded that I was reading the series because it is my favourite. It's the only one of the adaptations that I haven't watched in recent years because I don't want them to spoil it for me um, because I didn't like the Prince Caspian adaptation. Um, I loved the uh, Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe adaptation with Tilda Swinton as the White Witch, um, but I wasn't quite so struck with the with the Prince Caspian. But yeah, so I want to get on and read this. Um, I had set myself a target to try and get through this book this year. Not that it's much to get through, really, but um, because I've I've still got The Silver Chair and The Last Battle to read, which I haven't read since I was eight years old. Um, so I do want to, to try and get through the series because I don't really remember much about those two books. But yes, really looking forward to picking this one up and finishing it this year. Question number five is, is there a book that you think could still shock you and become a favourite of the year? I'm not too sure. I'm mood reading at the moment, so I haven't really got a solid plan for what I want to read before the end of the year. Um, but just looking at what I have on my current TBR and um, obviously the previous answers I've given, 
one of those books is where the crawdads sing i'm not too sure um because this is literary fiction which isn't my usual style of book um it's not the usual genre i would go to so it could could become a favorite um it could be one that i really do pick up and enjoy um or it might not it might cement the reason why i don't read literary fiction as being that i don't really enjoy it um but looking forward to giving it a go and then on my current tbr is jamaica inn by daphne du maurier i've never read a daphne du maurier book i've never seen an adaptation of a daphne du maurier book but this is the book club pick for November and I'm really looking forward to, to picking it up. Um, it's one that I've read the synopsis a few times. It's about a woman who crosses the um, Cornish Moors to go and live at Jamaica Inn with her aunt. And she discovers a smuggling ring there. And it's what happens following discovery of that smuggling ring and what happens to her and her life. Um and it's intrigued me. It's one that for years has intrigued me. I've been to Jamaica Inn a few times. I don't like it there. Um, it's too spooky for me. But yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to picking this one up. I had hoped to pick it up this weekend. I'm feeling this, but uh, it's not going to happen now. Um, I've got too much other books to read. Um, I've got one that I'm right in the middle of that I really want to finish. Um, and another one that is... I'm trying to follow in the TV adaptation, so I'm trying to get that finished as well. Um, but yes, so this one, potentially five stars, potentially um, one that becomes a favourite this year. And then the final question is, have you already started making reading plans for 2021? Short answer is no. Um, I have started thinking about what I'm going to set as my uh, Goodreads goal. I refuse to call it a challenge. Reading should never be considered a challenge. Um, so I always refer to it as a goal. I'm thinking of setting that the same as this year and having that as 52 books for the year. So a book a week. Um, in between reading um, some of the heavier books like The Shadow Rising and Dragonhaven. Um, and obviously I want to get to more of these this year, which is the rest of the series uh, by Robert Jordan. I've also got the rest of the books, which are by Robin Hobb. And um, also I told a friend about a book series last week that I've only read part of it. Well, I've read I read the first series, but there is a second series that I want to read as well. Um, and I want to get into that at some point. And so I think 52 would be a good starter for the year and just see how I go if we end up in more lockdowns um that could increase as it has this year I've done quite well this year but other than that I haven't really thought about my plans for the next year um I probably won't think about that until New Year's Eve when I'm actually thinking about filming the video in the first place um but I'll think about them a bit later on so that's the um end of the year book tag do you have plans for the rest of the year? If you do, let me know in the comments down below. If you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel. And I will speak to you all again soon with another video. Bye.